let's now start with the installation of our next component that is Oracle WebLogic Server. So let me give a brief intro about what is WebLogic Server. Unlike our uh, web servers, uh, which only handles the HTTP type requests, WebLogic Server is an application server. It handles application programs as well as business logic. So let's now start with the installation of WebLogic Server. First, uh, let me take you to the downloaded folder where it is located. C drive then you can see this folder stage fmw so here you can see this file wls this is the web logic server you can initialize it directly so here we start with the installation wizard click on next create a new middleware home this is the path where your new middleware is going to be installed C Oracle middleware click on next if you wish to receive security updates you can provide the email and password here uh, I will uncheck it bypass initiation ok yes click next I'll choose typical so this is the installation summary regarding your uh, middleware then a uh, web logic server and coherence where these all these components are to be are going to be installed this is the path for the web logic server this is the path for the coherence coherence is a part of web logic server so click on next next so this is the these are the components that are going to be installed and uh, we have weblogic server and its subcomponents and then we have oracle coherence and its subcomponents then we have jdk also jdk uh, have a look at this jdk is going uh, is also going to be installed along with this and jdk will be required in our further installation click next so it will take some time to install so here we are now done with the installation of weblogic server click on done So here you can see Oracle Database 11G is, is installed and you can check it. So now uh, let's start with the installation of our next component 